Hello, it's me. Uh, sorry, just kidding. Hey, everybody, it's KR Zero, and uh, yeah. So I had a wonderful day today. I slept most of the day, surprisingly. <laughs> However, uh, no, I actually um, did some spring cleaning, some slight spring cleaning with my roommate in the main areas of the house. Yeah, I get it. My room is still a mess. Rip the freaking day. However, um, but other than that, I actually, um, I actually went to an event that my friend invited me to. Um, yeah, it was a uh, tea party. Yeah, I know. I get it. You're probably thinking in your heads, uh, got the dude, uh, what's up with this? Uh, what's up with you going to a tea party? I mean. You know, most people assume connect tea parties with, you know, twelve year old girls, twelve year old and under girls and all that stuff. That's not what happened. Um, so <clears throat> what happened was we went to this place called Just Add Honey Tea in Atlanta, which is actually pretty decent. Like I actually liked it. Their teas are fantastic. I actually had an enjoyable time. However, <laughs> there comes the problem. See, I hate going into the city with a passion. I hate going into the city because, you know, the streets are like, they're so, you know, narrow. Um, you know, you got cars parked on the side. Sometimes it's hard to like get past these cars on the streets. You got one way streets all over the place. Um, and parking is like, it's just mm, mind blowing. I mean, I, I was already running a little bit late because of traffic. I mean, I it takes me about an hour to get to um, deep in Atlanta where we were um, from where I live. So yeah, I hate I hate traffic with a passion, and it always happens when you're driving through the city in daylight okay i don't know why more accidents happen in daytime than in night at night time but it seems to be the case anywho other than that no this place is actually pretty decent um just that honey tea um it they the way they set up the tea party was fantastic uh they had the tiny little tea cups and all that stuff um it, we're, we're outside it it was a gorgeous location i should have taken should have taken pictures um but i you know was kind of fumbling <laughs> with a whole bunch of other stuff like uh a friend of mine was uh we were trying to set up plans for momocon and all that stuff on the phone uh but i was actually trying to be involved in the conversations with um my friends friends because i know i don't know any of them um I think the one young lady I was sitting next to, I know her name. I'm not going to say it because of the fact that, you know, you know, anonymity, anonymity on the internet is always a good thing. Um, and I don't know her like that, but you know, they were, they were pretty cool. Um, however, the situation was, um, you know, we got tea, um, brought out to us, um, first thing was like two separate tea the uh, first time the first tea that the first two teas that I brought out were a Georgia peach tea and I believe a I forget the name of the teas goodness gracious why I mean but they were they were delicious like you just put a little sugar cube in there oh yeah by the way they actually made sure that you had like sugar uh, they had like um, a set of sugar cubes like a little bowl of sugar cubes and some honey uh, for you to grab and all that stuff. And they even give you tongues to grab the sugar cubes and all that stuff. It felt very British. Yeah, I got my like birth country, my birth country like, you know, thing in. Like it just hit my head like, oh, this is like spotted tea. Yes, and I love it. Sorry. Not trying to mock anybody of the British, uh, of uh, United Kingdom and all that stuff. It's just that I've still been super fascinated with my birth country since I 
was a young child, okay? So, you know, and I love Doctor Who, and I love a lot of <laughs> British uh, shows and uh, movies, so do not make it seem like I'm trying to be, like, mocking to, towards the UK. I love it. This It is actually where I was born. I was actually born on an Air Force base, a uh, United uh, United States Air Force Base um, in um, in United in the United Kingdom, um, uh, Upper Hayford, uh, Upper Hayford, England. I, I should know the whole thing, but I hard for me to remember everything at this exact moment. But <laughs> yeah, it just felt like you know. Felt like a little glimpse of uh, Britishness, but uh, you know, I believe it was black on. I could be wrong though. So. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to their website and all that stuff, and you can check it out. But you know, it was actually pretty good. And then we had another uh, two teas. Um, one was a hibiscus tea, and one was like a I want to say a, a black cherry hibiscus tea or something like that all i know is that the hibiscus teas both of those hibiscus teas yeah you should never put cream in it because uh the cream will curdle like instantly uh i didn't try it but um another young lady at the um at the party there was like three guys so one two three four or four guys if you include myself uh <laughs> at this tea party but um or five if you count the baby because I think the baby was a uh, was a was a boy. Anyways, however, uh, no, we, we you know I, it was enjoyable. It was actually a um, pretty nice uh, thing. And then they brought out the food, and the food came out just as I was having to leave. Like I didn't want to leave so early since I was so late. Uh, but everybody was late. It turns out because you know traffic in Atlanta is like crazy. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to leave early, but the food came out and they had like a, uh, croissant, which chicken sal salad sandwich. Okay. Uh, and that was, that's the only bit of food I was able to try and that shit slapped. Okay. It was great. It was delicious. Oh my God. The fact that you put it in like, uh, in, in, the fact that they put that chicken salad, salad in the croissant plus the the actual taste and texture of the chicken salad oh my god flavorness like flavor explosion in the mouth it was great um yeah i would actually uh i i highly recommend that place to anybody uh who happens to be in atlanta uh definitely check that place out it is in a in, in a very like popular spot like you're gonna have a hard time parking there it's you know small little um small little building but i mean i highly recommend it anyways well that's the end of the video for today uh i was gonna talk about pokemon's biggest fail but i think they're actually resolving that with uh pokemon uh zla or z2a uh, Pokemon Legends ZDA, okay? So, can't wait for that to come out. Oh, goodness. But, uh, yeah. Uh, definitely check out Just Honey, uh, Just Add Honey Tea, okay? In Atlanta. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave the, uh, website in the description of this video. Um, I really wish I took pictures while I was out because I'm not the type of person that takes pictures when I'm out the the city basically <laughs> however I might change that for uh for future references anywho uh till next time you guys have a great day a great week a great month and a great year all right and I'll see y'all next time peace